love filming on my bed because it feels like we're having like a sleepover so welcome to the party welcome to my channel if you're new or welcome back if you're a returning viewer and subscriber speaking of subscribers i checked my analytics and a lot of you are watching my videos and are not subscribed so if you haven't already please click the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up really appreciate it so in today's video i'm taking you through a week's worth of my normal workout and diet regimen or just like lifestyle i don't know as you guys saw i had posted like two or three weeks ago the k-pop month diet challenge video thing and i mentioned a lot about who fits my normal lifestyle who doesn't so I kind of wanted to follow that up by actually sharing with you guys what a week of I guess my life looks like in terms of making sure I move my body and fuel it well to just sustain myself or reach certain goals. This isn't particularly going to be a what I eat in a day where I share every single little thing I eat in a day because I've mentioned before you should never follow someone's exact diet since everyone has different needs and different goals for themselves. But I will show you guys ideas of meals, snack that I typically rotate through as well as the workouts that i rotate through same thing for the workouts i don't do the same thing every single week i have the same like format but for example the videos i decide to do that week if it's a workout video change or the frequency of certain things change but i generally have like a pretty consistent schedule so i can say proudly that ever since the k-pop video i have been way more consistent and i've been feeling really good so i also gained four pounds of muscle so i am really excited to show you just a disclaimer again i'm not saying that you have to eat this way or work out this way i'm not a sports medicine professional i am not a personal trainer i'm not a dietitian i'm not a nutritionist yet i am in school studying nutrition so i have like tidbits of facts but even what i'm telling you in this video is i guess basic knowledge so please take everything i say or show with a grain of salt i will be mentioning certain little tidbits of calories and macros so if you are triggered by that by any means click out of this video but like i said it's nothing like invasive i guess i'm just literally like saying facts about certain foods or certain tidbits of research or whatever the case may be solely to educate and inform you not to trigger you or make you feel some sort of way about the food you're eating so but before we get into the video i'd like to thank the sponsor helping us out today zigu.com so zigu is an online women's clothing store they have so many things tops dresses and even swimwear and they sent me three pieces to show you guys and i'm very excited because y'all know me i love clothes i love shopping at least you should know that so i'm going to show y'all how i style them because i really love some of them especially two of them first i got this like baby pink i don't know what you call it surplus tea and it's literally my exact of pink it matches my bear in the back right here and it has like ruffles and stuff on the slices so 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 cute i styled this with a black tennis skirt at first i can't lie i wasn't feeling it because if you guys can't tell it is a little big this is a size medium when i should have gotten a small or even an extra small because the fabric is really stretchy but me i needed to look like a little bit more of a so <laughs> i tucked it in to the tennis skirt but then i had the grand idea to even like thought knot it in the back so i thought knotted it in the back made it a crop top tightened it up a little bit so cute it was literally so cute the fabric is like really comfy just soft so the next top i got is actually one of my favorites it is this white silk blouse it kind of looks like a dress shirt but i styled it in a way that wasn't giving office worker i also paired this with my black little tennis skirt and it was adorable and i love it because like i said you can either dress this up to do office stuff or make it way more casual especially because it doesn't have buttons it has the cinch in the middle like a twist and i feel like it's so more summery like i could totally wear this with like shorts or something with a bikini on the beach so it's obviously made of that silk dress material it's honestly so cute and i paired it with like these black boots it was giving teacher if you tuck it in but if you leave it out it's just like pinterest girl like i've literally seen an outfit like that on pinterest so i love this shirt so much and that outfit if y'all see it again mind your business and then lastly they they sent over a long black silk skirt. I love it! I've been on a hunt for a silk skirt like this since like 2021 but I didn't want to get it from like Shein or something like that and I'm glad I didn't because this one is really nice since it has an elastic on the waistband so it is size inclusive in that way it just zips up with a zipper here and it's kind of like a midi skirt so it ends the mid of your calves and this is also something i really love because you can dress it up or dress it down i styled it with this top that i'm wearing right now and another top with some vans who doesn't love pairing long skirts with sneakers i absolutely love when other girls do that so i thought this was perfect for it and it's just so cute so comfy and again like i said i love the stretchy waistband those are the three pieces i got from zigu so if you want you can go on the zigu.com site and shop all of their selections they literally have so much to choose from and i'm 
I'm so glad that I found what I got. If anything, I honestly, from the bottom of my heart, recommend that you get this dress shirt because I have not seen a dress shirt like this before. Of course, they hooked us up with a code, so use code Erlaine at checkout for 30% off. Anything I want, you know, I wouldn't show them if I couldn't give you a hookup in the first place. So, as always, thank you to our sponsor, Zigu. Appreciate you so much, and I want to say thank you to you guys as well for allowing me to have these opportunities in the first place. With all that said, I'm really excited to get into this, so let's start the video. So, my personal preference is to work out at least three days of the week. I mentioned this in the Cake Bob Diet video, that that, I've noticed, is my sweet spot. However, these days, I have been hitting the full five-day work week, and I make my rest on the weekends. Typically, I'll either sit and do nothing at all, like literally just veg out in my bed and watch Netflix, or do something light, like walking or mobility movements, stretching, things like that. So whether I work out for just three days a week, or if I want to go for the full five-day week, I make sure that three of those days are strength training workouts. So that is anything with added weight and significant added weight. I get my dumbbells from Five Below. You can get them from Amazon, like Ross, Burlington Marshalls, like stores like that, or bust out some water bottles. Strength training is so important for either maintaining or building muscle. I'm not in the gym powerlifting like through 100 pounds, and I still, like I mentioned, was able to gain four pounds of muscle, which was really great, and I was not expecting that at all. So you can build muscle at home. It's just a matter of making sure you have the right equipment, do the right movement, videos, things like that. Obviously, it's hard to like practice good form at home when you don't have a trainer, but to combat that, either work out in the mirror or obviously record yourself if you don't have a mirror. And then the rest of the days, if I do the five day week, are designated to cardio or just lighter strength movements. So things like Pilates with either just light weights or body weight functional movements with no added weight, me just using my body weight. <laughs> So for day one, I've been really loving starting my day exercising in the morning since I started doing it for Jenny's days during my K-pop month challenge. So I started off with some Pilates with my girl Sherlyn Kim. I mentioned before, she's a creator here on YouTube who does like Pilates style fitness videos that target that more like Korean beauty standard aesthetic, K-pop idol aesthetic of bodies. And I just did her 15 minute like hourglass Pilates and cardio workout. I really like that for a light morning burn. When I do work out in the morning, I'm not picking up weights. Like that's just not happening unless it's like my five pound or my one and a half pound ankle weight if I do want a quick little burn because the goal is just to get my heart pumping and get myself energized to start my day. Waking out in the morning I've noticed just helps me feel a lot better so long as it's not something like too rigorous. I either do Pilates, run or walk or another video that I like to do is the Mad Fit pajama workout. It's 15 minutes, you're just on the mat and I've done that plenty of times in my pajamas or I'll actually change it to my workout clothes in the morning and I really recommend you do the same like if you are not in the habit of working out in the morning you really don't have to do much especially because you're just starting your day literally anything will work whether you stretch whether you do some like yoga flows taking the time to just do a little bit of mobility movements or if you want to do like a circuit with just like 10 reps of something whether that be squats crunches whatever i also used to do that when i was in high school the goal is just to get moving because it helps so much and it makes you feel physically better in my opinion good morning i just kind of didn't feel like getting out of bed <laughs> so i was like let me just do a little pilates so i did the Sherlyn Kim video and I loved it so much. It was really fun. I feel like really good today. I'm stretching now and I'm gonna make a breakfast. However, I don't really know what I want. So my first meals are around 11 a.m. because of either school, I have my classes in the morning so I can't eat until my break or if I'm at home and I'm just like waking up late, I don't really get out of bed until like 9.30 or 10.30 and if I do wake up early, I'm working out. So after I work out is when I have my meal. A breakfast I have quite often that is quote unquote a high bread breakfast is tuna and egg over rice but today instead of rice i used an everything bagel squirted some gochujang sauce on top and had some apples on the side and it's a really quick filling satiating meal and i just used the star kiss tuna packs as you know season them with lemon juice and pepper because that's what i like and you go to town pop it in the microwave for like a minute and then put it on top and it's so good this day i had to have lunch for dinner so i had some salmon potatoes and broccoli that is my go-to meal for everything some sort of protein some sort of vegetable it's usually broccoli and either rice or potatoes but you guys know i love potatoes a lot more because they're just so much more satiating and denser when i mentioned density because i did talk about that in my last diet video was just making sure you eat foods that are satiating that are full that are whole for me potatoes are and have been my secret to like diet management and making sure that you're actually satisfied after you finish a meal when i was in like the fourth grade that was i feel like when i started puberty and i noticed 
that my appetite got super big. Obviously because I'm growing and I need to compensate for the food, so you're gonna have more of an appetite. But I noticed that I had a very big appetite compared to my other friends. And that carried into my high school years. It even carries into now. Like I can eat a lot of food so long as I put my mind to it and do it. Like I can throw down. But it was getting to a point where I wasn't actually able to be satisfied with my meals. I would pick on things throughout the day and I would always be snacking on something or just always eat something. And don't get me wrong, like I don't mind snacking or like eating throughout the day that aren't just meals. But it was starting to get a little bit frustrating because I'm like, I'm eating all this food, but I feel like I've eaten nothing at all. I don't think it was extreme hunger by any means, but I think what I was eating wasn't necessarily satisfying for me or filling me up. So when I was vegetarian, if you don't know, hi, I was vegetarian for like almost a year when I was a sophomore in high school. I think that's when I learned the importance of having whole dense foods in your diet. I was watching a lot of like vegan vegetarian content creators and they would always eat so many like potatoes and beans or tofu, things like that. Things that are not only dense in nutrients, but just dense in the volume and the space that they take up in your stomach. So not only do you have that feeling of fullness, but when you are physically full, you're able to make that mind to body connection of, oh, I'm full. I feel this fullness so I can mentally also stop eating. And this is precisely why volume eating is called volume eating. These type of foods are also able to attract water in the body and in the stomach. So that increases that physical feeling of fullness that's helping you make the mind to body connection in the first place. Starchy carbs, whole grains, even some vegetables are insoluble fiber sources. So they're going to take a little bit longer to digest and get through you since they don't dissolve in water as easily as soluble fibers such as black beans, sweet potatoes that don't have as much starch as a regular potato and things like that. Once you learn and are able to connect the chemical compounds of the foods that you eat and how they react in your body, it's pretty simple to understand why so many fitness creators or people who practice certain diets like veganism and vegetarianism, pescatarianism even, have to eat so much more food because when you're following a more whole food diet or at the very least incorporating more whole foods in your diet, your digestion process is slowed down and with the physical digestion slowing down, you're also able to mentally connect to yourself that I still have food in my body, I'm not hungry yet. I can physically feel this food in my body still so I don't have to feel the need to keep eating something because I'm still mentally hungry. I hope this is making sense. I know I'm not the best at explaining it but it's a life changer once you understand the concept. Ever since I learned that it helped me so much to just not only pick my foods better but manage like my hunger and satiety so much better and I don't feel like a victim and a slave to it anymore since I'm actually eating foods that not only are really good but actually make me be like okay that was good I'm done I don't feel the need to like snack on things like that so if you are someone who's a snacker I also recommend you do the same thing and like I just mentioned potatoes are it for me I eat a lot more potatoes than I do rice for if I'm trying to have like a carb in my meal a starchy carb because I'm able to have more volume with the potatoes rather than having just a cup of rice that's just kind of the concept of volume eating if you've heard that like term or buzzword before that's what it is just eating foods high in volume you can have more of them because typically they're also more calorically dilute when I say calorically dilute I mean foods that have less calories across a serving so you're able to have like a bowl of like watermelon grapes apples like a fruit salad bowl versus one candy bar for the same amount of sweetness but the fruit had way less calories way more nutrients and you're gonna feel way more satisfied because fruits have a lot of water and that's gonna make you feel whole so then you're actually gonna feel full and you'll have way more food for less calories more nutrients you get it okay i hope i don't sound like too much of a nerd but i am very passionate about this because it was a direct struggle of mine so being able to share that i hope you're taking some good information from this volume eating has helped me so much to just eat smarter instead of less that's really the goal when people suggest you make healthy substitutions or more just nutrient substitutions you can eat so much more of the nutrient dense foods because nutrient dense foods are typically the not processed ones or with excess added sugar and things like that and i'm not saying you shouldn't not eat chips and candy bars baby i'm the ceo of eating junk food we wanted ice cream so we went to quick trip <laughs> and got some ice cream i'm saying we because i'm with my sister so don't play me like i literally have like i don't want to say i have a sugar addiction because i'm not addicted to sugar by any means but like i literally love like sweet processed sugar i love it so much i mentioned this in vlogs before that i'm trying to go like zero sugar or low sugar or just low added sugar in my diet but it's just a matter of eating it less so you crave it less studies show that the less you eat the junk and processed foods the less you crave them because those foods have additives chemicals and added sugar as well excess sodium things like that to make your taste buds tingle and not only have your
your brain wants to crave it more but you physically crave it more because when you eat those foods you literally grow bacteria in your gut that starts to crave those foods versus the gut microbiome of someone who is eating just whole healthy foods or just a balanced diet of the two like you're literally getting rid of your good bacteria when you eat stuff like that and actually growing bacteria that's like give me more sugar give me more junk as well as dead ass altering your brain chemistry from eating those foods that are scientifically manufactured to make you want to crave them more but that's another combo for another time so for my first day's workout now i'm gonna share so when i actually started filming this video i did it a day after i did a whole day of running i did weights like i did a full day so this day that i'm showing you right now is just gonna be kind of a short minimal heavy on the minimal quotes workout that i do you can do it with no equipment or you can have light equipment like i have for when i'm feeling lazy but i want to end my night on some health you know what i mean so <laughs> so i said earlier that i didn't want to move much i did take a fat nap i worked my legs and thighs yesterday well i kind of did like full body my everything is a little sore so i'm just gonna focus on my arms because they're not that sore my arms and back i did a creator yuka sagawa's arms workout and that workout if you do it right and add weights you can actually work your back as well and i also take some moves out to work my triceps because you should work your antagonist muscles as much as you do like your main activated ones so i'm gonna show you guys how i do that i'll do a little bit of ab and then some body weight movement and then that'll be the end of my night i don't want to work out for too long i'm trying to shoot for maybe like 15 20 minutes it's gonna be super quick you're gonna need some weights i'm going to use these four pounds you can use five and if you're a really beginner you can go ahead and use just two or even one as long as you have something that works or you can hold two like balls in your hand to help you with just like the tension of the movement that way you can just like you know what's going on so whenever you're ready and can add weight you already know what the dealio is and for the body weight stuff i'm just gonna use my typical 1.5 ankle weight but let me stop talking and get on with the show I got a little hungry, so I'm just gonna eat some of these seasoned veggies and some Polska sausage. <laughs> So lately I have been into running and I'm two weeks deep now into running and when I say running because listen I am the president of the anti-run club I really don't like doing it when I say running I am talking about not just like running straight for like 30 minutes to an hour I do interval running I'm really running for pace rather than speed so I'm running like a cross-country runner rather than like a track star that sprints or stuff like that so if you are trying to get into running I highly recommend you do that Natasha Ocean oh my god what is her name is her name Natasha yes it is. She did a video kind of going into what to do if you want to start running if you're a beginner and things like that. And I did watch that and motivated me so much. It made it not so intimidating for a first timer like me. Because when I first did it, I didn't really know what I was doing. But now I like do it consistently. I try to go on a run two times a week at least. And if I'm just doing like my three days strength schedule, I make sure I just go on a run at least once a week. Mm -hmm. 
Good morning guys. So typically I would wake up around this time to go to my chemistry lab, but we're done with our experiments actually. We have a review today and an extra credit quiz. And normally I'd be like, yeah, let's go get that extra credit. But today I'm like, yeah, I need my extra sleep. I just don't feel like going, you know what I mean? And I was gonna go back to bed, but I kind of feel like I have energy. So I was thinking about going on a run to knock out my second like cardio of the week. The sun rises at 7.10, it's 6.08 right now. It takes me about 25 to 30 minutes to finish a run. So I think I'm just gonna go run and it's dark outside. So I look a little tired and people don't have to see that. You know what I mean? I feel like once I make a decision on not going, I'm just like, yeah, bitch, I'm not going. Like, I don't care what the fuck you say. Like, I'm not going to go. I'm going to put on my running gear. This is so unflattering. Basically, I do a warm up, which is what I'm doing right now. Then up until like 25 minutes, like I said, is usually how long it takes me to run. I'm three minutes on, two minutes off recovery. So sometimes it turns to two minutes on and three minutes recovery, depending on how tired I am. That's what I do for about 1.6 miles. Today it's probably gonna actually be two though, because I have to run back and forth to get the camera for the shots, but that's what I'm doing. It's like 41 degrees, my hands are freezing. That's also another reason why I decided to come out early because my hair's straight and I don't want it to sweat, so. As you can tell, I'm already running out of breath, which is good. I'm gonna finish this workout, play my music, let's go. But I've noticed it makes me feel so much more energized and really pumped and accomplished. I think that's what it is. That runner's high, I now know what they're talking about because you really do just feel like I am that bitch after you run almost two miles. When I'm doing it, it's usually in the morning, people are on the way to work and things like that. And it's not to say I have a superiority complex by any means. I'm like, huh, I'm doing this and you're not. Like, it makes you feel good. It makes me feel good at least. So I highly recommend you get into that if you are are like wanting to start but don't know where to start i just go up and back my street from my neighborhood and i listen to some bomb music i made a running playlist so if you guys want that i will like have one in the description on my apple music i'm so happy i started doing it i've seen a change already in my legs specifically my quads i feel like they're so much stronger and harder now what can i say that four pounds of muscle baby is true so these are my stats i did actually almost went two miles like i said as you can see my pace is 15 28 this is way down from the last run that i did but I'm honestly fine. I was running a lot slower because I was freezing. I wanted to really run for fun, not so much for like improvement. So you put here at me. Oh, this is horrible. Guys, y'all know I'm cute. I just worked out. Give me a second. Sometimes after I'm done with my workouts, I do an ab workout because I'm like, okay, cardio, perfect time to do abs. Typically I do the mad fit standing abs 15 minute workout, but I just don't feel like doing that today. Like I said, I'm gonna shower and like get back in bed and wake up again at nine to like really start my day. It's been very many hours since the last time I turned this on. That's not important. What I'm about to show you guys is somewhere between the perfect snack and the perfect dessert, depending on when you eat it or what you're eating it for. So what you're gonna need are some rice cakes. Then you're gonna need some peanut butter. This is the Kroger crunchy peanut butter because I'm a texture girl. I love crunchy stuff. And then you're gonna need fruit. I like apples. This is specifically Honeycrisp because they're in season and they're huge and they're so good and refreshing and sweet. I'll pop out two of them bad boys and put them on a plate. I don't like too thick of a layer of peanut butter because it burns me out, so I keep it pretty thin. What's really great about peanut butter is that it sticks to you very well. So if you're someone who has a hard time keeping themselves like consistently fed and having meals throughout the day, I recommend having peanut butter or just some sort of nut butter period in your breakfast or like at the start of your day or like a snack in between so that you know you have something in you. And it's paired so well with not only rice cakes but with apples, which is why it's one of my favorite snacks. Just like the natural sugars from the apple and the sweetness of the peanut butter it does genuinely help me curb a craving if i'm craving something like added sugar which is coming from someone who has the ultimate sweet tooth like i am sugar itself in my dna is glucose every hydrogen bond between the double helixes of my dna strands have sugar in them and it's so hard to live with sometimes <laughs> and now i'm gonna cut up my apple i think gala apples are a little too sweet i don't like my apples like too too sweet i still like that like kind of water taste honey crisp was just like the perfect mixture but it's literally so good love like you really can't go wrong yeah. okay so we're at 250 grams right now this is the core i didn't cut enough off so i'm gonna eat it literally so good I feel like a bunny this is what we're working with it's so good literally a perfect combo i love it 
for day three you guys know i go to school downtown and this day i spend my longest time at school i'm at school from 9 30 to 4 p.m because i have a lecture in the morning a break and then a four hour anatomy and physiology lab so in between walking in between class going between different buildings because i do have myself a little like study hall that i give during my break i do pack myself a lunch now ever since i got that little lunch box from tamu because i really didn't like the fact that i was having to wait until four to eat or having to buy snacks like in between when i wasn't even really satisfied so i whipped up a little salad it's so ghetto with like egg and lemon pepper chicken from publix it's baked just sad attempt i mean just trying to get some protein in fruit and i love the little like emerald 100 calorie packs of nuts super good this was kind of embarrassing to eat because literally the cutest guy was like across from me printing out pictures i don't know papers or something for a class while i'm just like stuffing my face with lettuce but so i do count all this walking into my weekly cardio that i mentioned earlier when i'm doing like a five day workout week so i went home and did some weighted workout stuff to close off my night completely and by this time i'm exhausted so doing a workout this late is exactly what i need as soon as my head hits the pillow it's knockout time hello guys it is 10 30 or 40 right now and i am going to do legs today legs a little bit of butt so i'm gonna do mad fits like 15 minute legs and booty workout and then i'm gonna do just a really short Sherlyn kim pilates leg workout i have very low energy but i'm hoping this workout can like pump me up i got my water bottle and the freezer ready to go i tied up my hair by the way so it doesn't like sweat out on the roof but yeah i'm in my sunroom and we're gonna get this workout started so let go last hoorah before probably being on my ass for the next three days like i said if it's a five day week i typically do not work out on the weekends hello you guys so it is a new day and i'm making basically dinner for my lunch or breakfast right now i'm having some seasoned air fried potatoes i cut them into wedges instead of cubes this time around broccoli and the pork chops that i've been eating all week and i'm feeling a little bit of a sweet tooth i can't lie so i picked up some ice cream from the store yesterday and also some protein cereal from special k that i'm gonna eat with it and i'll show you guys that so i'll just have a little portion and if i want more later i'll have the rest of the portion so i'm basically having like half a serving size right now but i don't plan to move much today since i moved so much yesterday between walking all around school doing the workout at home and then i actually did some more like running after that workout that i didn't film so my body is just very like exhausted and tired and that's why i slept in so today i'm gonna just take it pretty slow I'm 
Okay, that's literally so good love. So I have this little tiny dish. It's meant for like dipping sauces when you use like dumplings and stuff like that. But I'm gonna use it for the ice cream today. Vanilla bean ice cream from Kroger with the protein special K ice cream. Cause Lord knows I need more protein. Oh, I think I've already overfilled it. <laughs> the Krusty Krab pizza. And the pizza for you and me. All good. This cereal is like pretty hard. I can't lie. I would never eat this if I was eating cereal. So but it's kind of sad but <laughs> and that's my ice cream yeah i eat ice cream in the fork and what about it yeah that crunch factor it is so good so at this point i'm extremely tired and i don't want to do anything too crazy so that's where like just the lighter functional movements come into play this night i did a shirling kim standing workout it's like a walking workout and you have like some functional movements so i got my five pound dumbbell to help out with that and my ankle weights <laughs> I wasn't showing every single little thing that I ate throughout the days, but I do snack. I love those little like Welch's fruit snacks. They have sugar in them, but they're so good. If I want like sour gummy worms or something, but don't want to actually go get them. I do snack on apples. Fruits are my favorite. Um, crackers and like little biscuits. My dad got me like these little like biscotti things. So good, I've never had them before. And I also eat a lot of dry cereal. Like I'll sit there and eat like cinnamon toast crunch or something with no milk. I picked up that habit while I was in school because I stopped drinking milk as a kid. If I want something sweet but don't want like a candy bar or I'm just too lazy to go get one. It also helps with fiber. So very great bathroom trips. <laughs> but yeah, with all that said, that is this video done. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, thank you so much to the sponsor Zigu for partnering with me, sending me the clothes and giving a code. Again, use code Erlane at checkout for 30% off your order if you want some clothes. As I mentioned before, this is not something you need to follow or anything. This is just how I like manage my body. Over the past couple years, I've lost a lot of weight since like changing my lifestyle and my body feels a lot better. I've been getting muscle. So I am very happy with the way my diet is now compared to how a year or two years ago. And I'm learning so much, not only in school, but just through my experiences about nutrition and fitness and things like that. So with these videos, I hope you can learn something from them. Once again, if you're new to my channel, what's up? My name is Erlene St. Cyr. I'm 21 years old and I would really appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below I'll also have my social medias i'm at erlane saints here on everything as well as my card website and my buy me a cup of coffee link if you want to support this video or this channel in a different way but as usual yo viewership